Hello. Today we're going to be finding the road home in Scaredy Cat, but first, let's go over the decks. I have Nemo with Energy Cycle, 2 Leap, Energy Conversion, 3 A Golden Opportunity, Ready Up, and Emotional Turbulence. For passives, I have Liquefied Flush, Your Shield, Keeping Stride, and Electric Shock. Next, I have Unsealed Page of the Crying Children, Pub Blockade, Gig Gig, Extract Field, Set Fire, Sunset Blade, Feather Shield, Crack of Dawn, Will of the Prescript, Mushroom Turbulence. For passives, I have Flaming Bat, Stigma Workshop Weaponry, Light of Daybreak, Mind Hauler, and Information Assessment. You don't need Information Assessment, you can replace it with like any Power Booster or like any Damage Boosters, but it'll come in handy later, but definitely not necessary. Next I have Rose, Energy Cycle, 2 Leap, Energy Conversion, Rip Space, 3 A Golden Opportunity, and Emotional Turbulence. For passives, I have Liquefied Flush, Your Shield, and Mind Hauler. Uh, Mind Hauler could be Keeping in Stride and Electric Shock as well, just as easily. And lastly, I have All Star Page Mars, with uh, Puppet Blockade, Frontal Assault, Giggy Gig, Creek, Trace of Fumes, Repressed Flesh, Hold the Prescript, Deep Drag, and Emotional Turbulence. And for passives, Information Assessment, Lion's Fist, and Mind Hauler. And Information Assessment here could very easily be a Puppet Skeleton. But anyway, let's get into the fight. Alright, so Road Home, Scaredy Cat. So first, Road Home will be casting Let's Go Together, which is a mass individual that'll target two of your librarians at random, and it'll roll 3 to 6, 3 to 6, 3 to 6. This one, basically just any page that is 3 dice will work very well. Um, and then its other two pages will be casting Play Tag, which is just 3, 3 to 8 evade dice. And then Scaredy Cat we'll have this special status Courage. It's getting cut off here, but basically every time the road home gets hit, Scaredy Cat will gain one strength for this scene. And since all of its dice will roll one, it's likely to go last if you just let it free hit. So we're gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of trickery in order to avoid that. But anyway, it's pages, RAR, three to six, evade in the six to 10. This one you might wanna have a block on two, or you can just tank it. It's not too threatening, especially since all of our librarians are slash injured, except for Rose, who's just slash stagger, but that's the more important one in this case. Next is Gur, 3 to 11 of 8, and then a 3 to 5, 3 to 4. This one is even, even less threatening because the dice are fairly weak, and so if you have a block on one, then you can blank the rest of this page with basically anything else. Another Gur, and then Growl, which is just 3 to 8, 3 to 7. This one, again, you can mitigate pretty easily, even with like a Puppet Skeleton, Gig Gig, Extract Field kind of thing, because you'll just tank one and then mitigate the other. But, yeah. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use these sixes and one of these fours to clash into Scaredy Cat, and then use this three to try and attack the road home for a little bit of damage. Abnormality pages, Gleaning is pretty good because it deals bonus stagger damage. Cardia is also fine because it reduces cost. I'm going to take Gleaning and put it on Mars just because he has 27 max stagger. Alright, and so on the second scene, uh, the Road Home will be casting Friends Let's Go Home on all three of her dice. Can't be redirected and is a 4 to 4 and on hit staggers the target, and it'll target the same dice that the mass attack was targeting, so two of your librarians and then the home over here. And then Scaredy Cat will just be casting the same stuff, but it won't get strength um, based on how many times the road home is hit, which is good because it means that we could ignore him and just put everything onto the road home and try and get her down as much as possible. And notably, for our information assessment, uh, we can see that it's pierce damage normal because normally road home has 
uh, six endureds. And so sometimes she'll just have one uh, set to normal, sometimes she'll have two. But since Scaredy Cat's immune to all damage, it will never affect Scaredy Cat. We'll be back to the first phase with let's go home together the play tags and the courage effect and so just more of the same Here, again, any of these are fine. I'll take Cardia here because it's the least likely to affect me negatively. And then here, it's just more of the same, but since the Road Home's on 24 health with 8 burn, the fight's basically over. And so here, it's even good to uh, clash into the line just to make sure that your guys don't die if they are low. In this case, they aren't really low, except for these two. Uh, I guess the line targeted them a lot more, but generally, this is basically the end of the fight. Once you kill the road home, the scaredy cat will drop to 20 HP, be failed to everything, and be casting nervous as a cat, which will basically just do nothing. And so here we may as well just put it out of its misery. Alright, so this one definitely becomes a lot easier if you bring people who are at least stagger resistant to um, slash, but generally it's not too hard. If you have people who are just normal to slash, you might need to manipulate your clashes a little bit more, but not too difficult. After defeating the Road Home and Security Cat, you'll get access to these abnormality pages. Courage is a very strong page, giving you strength and protection equal to the number of living allies minus 2 to a max of 3 strength and protection every scene. If all other allies are dead though, you get 1 free bull and 1 fragile, but you'd never let that happen, right? Home is a very strange page. Depending on the number of living allies, it puts targets on between 1 and 3 enemies. For each enemy hit in the correct order, all of your librarians' damage gets increased by 3 for the scene. This page has the potential to be very powerful, but requires some thinking to get the most out of it. The last page is A Road Walks Together. This page gives allies power for redirecting pages away from the selected one. The boost can be fairly inconsistent because you need multiple things to line up, but I guess it would be strong if you're fighting enemies that use the index targeting method. In the next video, we'll be fighting Roland's next abnormality, the Snow Queen. I'll see you soon, and as always, Thank you for watching.